Good morning, everyone. I'm Mr. Ben D. Parkland Jr., your technology and livelihood education aid teacher. Today, we have a very important topic to discuss. A very important, vital, at the same time, timely, especially that we are now experiencing and suffering the COVID-19 pandemic. Okay, but before I'm going to start with our class discussion or to our topic for today's lesson, I would just like to present to you our objectives for today's lesson. Our first objective is as a learner, you're going to identify and name the caregiving tools, equipment, and paraphernalia applicable to a specific job. Second objective, you're going to demonstrate the uses and functions of the caregiving tools, equipment, and paraphernalia. And at the same time, you're going to relate them to the real life situations. And lastly, integrate the value of giving care to others. It's very important that we have to be concerned with our filament, especially during the pandemic time. But before anything else, I would just like to remind our learners to please sit all down yourselves and sit properly and listen attentively to our lesson for today. Okay. So in our pre-activity, I'm going to present to you some of the pictures or images and then you're going to identify what caregiving tool, equipment, or paraphernalia is that based from the given choices in the box. Okay. So there, you can see BP apparatus aneroid, or that is, in one way or around of saying it, that is a speed manometer. BP stands for blood pressure apparatus aneroid. Second is you have there the blender. Third there is you have the stethoscope as one of the choices in the box. Then bottle sterilizer, and we have the thermometer or thermal scanner. Okay. The first picture there, anybody else who can give the correct, or anybody else who can, who can identify what picture or image is that? Very good. That is Blender. Okay, that is Blender. That picture is courtesy from www.geekmall.eu slash en. Okay, another picture that I'm going to present to you in our slide presentation, okay, what picture is that? Or what um, caregiving tool, equipment, or paraphernalia is that? Anybody else? Okay, very good. That is the BP apparatus aneroid or the speed move manometer. BP stands for blood pressure apparatus and that is an aneroid. When we do say aneroid, that is mercury free. Okay, we have different types of BP apparatus. We have the BP apparatus mercurial, wherein uh, mercury chemical substance is used. And we have also this one. This is the BP apparatus aneroid, which means this is mercury free, in which it will also measure our blood pressure. Then we have also the uh, BP apparatus digital, okay? So this picture is taken from shopping.ph. Okay, the third picture that I'm going to present to you, anybody else who can give or who can identify or name that caregiving tool, equipment, or paraphernalia? Very good. That is bottle sterilizer okay that picture is courtesy from eshopsync.com okay the first picture that i'm going to present this is very common especially during this time you uh, okay before you can enter in a certain establishment in a shopping mall in a certain government or private agency you will undergo this 
Okay, anybody else who can give the correct name or who can name or identify what caregiving tool, equipment, or paraphernalia is that? Any, yes, very good. This is what we saw called thermometer or thermal scanner. This is used to measure our body temperature. Okay? Next picture that I'm going to press. Okay, by the way, that picture is taken from www.acsmaterial.com. Okay. Next is we have, okay, anybody else who can give or identify that apparatus? Very good. That is stethoscope. Okay, this is an instrument used for listening the action of the heart, lungs, and etc. Okay, then you can see there, there is a two pieces, okay, leading to the ear pieces. Okay, so these are now the caregiving tools, equipment, and paraphernalia applicable for a specific job. Okay, did you understand? Okay, anybody else? Okay, are you familiar now with uh, caregiving tools, equipment, and paraphernalia applicable to a specific job? What are those? That one, that, very good, that is the blender. That, how about that picture? Very good, again, excellent answer. That is the BP apparatus on the right. How about this? Very good, this is stethoscope. How about this picture? This is thermometer or thermal scanner. And how about this picture? Okay, this is a bottle a sterilizer. Okay, these tools, this equipment and paraphernalia for caregiving um, applicable for a specific job. Now, I'm going to present to you our lesson for today. Okay, let's start with Okay, blood pressure apparatus aneroid or a speed move manometer. What is BP apparatus aneroid or a speed move manometer? Okay, let's define this. Okay, when we do say blood pressure apparatus aneroid or in other way around of saying it, that is um a speed manometer is a mercury free and consists of a cuff. When we do say cuff, this is the, that is the cuff. Okay? That can be applied in one hand for self testing. So that will be put in one hand. It will be put here or it will be here. Then there is also a stethoscope that is belt in or attached. Okay? This one. Okay, that one, this is the stethoscope. You have there that one. You have there the tube and you have there the air pieces. Okay? Okay. Then there is a bulb that inflates and deflates automatically with a data display or an easy to read gauge that will function in any position. That one is what we saw called the valve you're going to press that one because it will produce air okay so that is the valve so this is the bp apparatus aneroid so when we say aneroid that is mercury free um the bp apparatus mercurial is no longer available in the market why because of its poisonous chemical substance which is the mercury Mercury is not good, especially to our envi environment and to human beings. So that's the reason why uh, BP apparatus mercurial is no longer available in the market because of its harmful effects to the environment and to human beings. Okay, next picture that I'm going to present. Yes, very good. That is the blender. It is a kitchen and laboratory appliance which is used to mix, puree, or emulsify food and other substances. Okay, at this point in time, especially that we are now experiencing and suffering COVID-19, or shall we say the coronavirus-19, 
blender is very important nowadays why i say so it's very important because one of the signs and symptoms of having covid is you will lose your taste okay in order to boost your immune system you need fruits and vegetables okay that is one way of boosting your immune system okay in order to boost your immune system you need vegetables and fruits for immune system for boosting your immune system so you're just going to blend them since you don't have any taste okay so you're going you're just going to blend the vegetables or the fruits then you're going to that would serve as your food then with that your immune system will be boosted okay that is also one way of protecting yourself Okay, from COVID or from surpassing having COVID-19. Okay, very good. Next is we have bottle sterilizer. Okay, what is then bottle sterilizer? When we do say bottle sterilizer, this is an apparatus which is used in destructing microorganisms in containers like feeding bottle through boiling. So this is very important, especially for babies. Why this is very important for babies? Because babies are very prone to diseases, especially for diarrhea. Okay, in order to be safe and secure, you need to have this bottle sterilizer, especially for babies or having bottle feeding. And this is also very important that we need also to sterilize our utensils, especially during disasters when we will be placed in a certain evacuation center wherein the water system is no longer safe. In order for us to be safe, in order to have a safe and secure health condition, we need to sterilize our utensils. So this is very important. Okay. Next is we have the stethoscope. Okay, what is then the stethoscope? Okay, stethoscope is an instrument which is used for listening to the action of the heart, lungs, and etc. Usually consisting of circular piece, that one, that is the circular piece, that one, uh, that is also called tunable diaphragm, okay, that uh, placed against the chest, that is placed against the chest, and then with tubes leading to ear pieces that one that is a tube that is also the tube that one those are the ear pieces so in what okay this is now the what we saw on the stethoscope okay that part is the tunable diaphragm or shall we say circular piece uh, that is placed against the chest okay and that one that is the tube leading to the ear pieces this is very important especially to our physicians health practitioners or medical practitioners okay listening to the sound of the uh, listening to the sound of the heart is what we so called cardiac auscultation okay that is the trivia for today's lesson okay listening to the sound of the heart is what is called cardiac auscultation okay this is a very important to physicians because through listening to the action of the heart they will be able to identify or recognize or even say or uh, diagnose if you have problems with your lungs or with your heart okay so if uh, we will be able to find it out that you have problem with your lungs or with your heart that's the time that the doctor would recommend you to undergo some of the laboratory tests but before that the doctors will be using this one in identifying problems with your lungs or with your heart. This is very important. This is also very important in identifying the vital signs. When there will be calamities, especially during this time, when there will be disasters and you will be rescuing someone who is in emergency, you can make use of this by identifying the vital signs. By just placing that one in the chest because one um, vital sign to identify that the person is alive or dead is the heart uh, the heartbeat sorry the heartbeat so by identifying the heartbeat you will be able to know that the person or the patient is still alive okay so this is very important this is also in, that can be this can be used also during 
okay, during disaster time in order to rescue some of the patients or victims of the calamities, you can make use of this by identifying their vital signs. This can be used also by uh, putting this one in your pulses, okay? You can identify uh, whether the person is alive or dead already. Okay. Next is we have the thermometer or thermal scanner. This is a very important instrument nowadays. Why? Especially we, uh, especially when we are having, well, especially we are having or experiencing the COVID-19. One of the en important instruments to identify your body temperature is the thermometer or thermal thermal scanner. What is then thermometer or thermal scanner? This is an instrument for measuring body temperature. One of the signs and symptoms of having COVID is fever. Okay, in order to be identified, whether you have fever, you will undergo thermal scanning or you will have this thermometer in order to uh, measure your body temperature, whether you have fever or not. So this is very important nowadays. This is also very important because this is one way of um, controlling the spread of COVID-19 nowadays this is one of the most important instruments okay next is we have okay we're done already with the five caregiving tools equipment and paraphernalia applicable to a specific job okay let's have first a review what are those okay how about this picture that one okay that is thermometer what else very good. That is, you have the BP apparatus aneroid. Another one, anybody else who can give me or name one of the caregiving tools, equipment, or paraphernalia? Yes, very good. We have the bottle sterilizer. What else? Yes, very good. We have the blender. And the fifth one, you have mentioned already the thermometer. You have and the fifth one is, okay, an instrument to use or apparatus used in listening the action of the heart or the lungs. Very good. That is stethoscope. Okay, I guess you are now ready for our review, my dear students. Okay, so let's start our review. Okay, anybody else? Okay, this is a, a kitchen and laboratory appliance which is used to mix puree or emulsify food and other substances this is very vital or important appliance nowadays this is uh, this is also an appliance used to to uh, emulsify okay, foods or vegetables in order to boost our immune system anybody else yes very good this is what we saw called the blender then second this is an instrument for measuring our body temperature. Very good. Thermometer or, yes, very good. Thermal scanner. Next is we have an instrument which is, which is used for listening to the action of the heart, lungs, etc. Usually consisting of a circular piece placed against the chest with tubes leading to ear pieces. Very good. This is a what we saw called the stethoscope. Okay, uh, I have given you already the trivia that is uh, listening to the sound of the heart. That is what we saw called. Very good. You have remembered the answer, the correct answer, which is the cardiac auscultation. Okay, next, number four. This is an apparatus which is used in destructing microorganisms in containers like feeding bottle through boiling. Very good. Bottle sterilizer. Then the last one, this is a mercury free and consists of a cup that can be applied with one hand for self-testing, a stethoscope that is belt in or attached and a bulb that in place and be placed automatically with the data displayed on an easy to read gauge that will function in any position. Anybody else? 
very good. This is a blood pressure apparatus aneroid. Aneroid is because this is a mercury free. Okay. Did you understand? Are you? Are we good? Okay. Are you feeling well today? Okay. Did you fully understand our lesson for today? Very good. Since you have fully understood already our lesson for today, I'm going to give you now a quiz. You're going to answer this. Okay. So, I'll just give you 10 minutes for our quiz, to answer for our quiz, okay? The directions for our quiz for today's lesson is you're going to identify the following given statements below and choose the correct answer from the choices in the box. Okay, write your correct answer in your paper. So there are choices here in the box. Then there is a, what is called a given statement here. Number one is a kitchen and laboratory appliance which is used to mix, puree, or emulsify food and other substances. Okay. Number two, it is an instrument for measuring temperature. Number three, it is an instrument which is used for listening to the action of the heart, lungs, etc. Usually consisting of a circular piece placed against the chest with tubes leading to the ear pieces. Then it is an apparatus which is used in destructing microorganisms or pathogens. Or when we say microorganisms, these are the germs, the virus, the bacteria, okay, the fungus or the, the fungi, in containers like feeding bottle through boiling. And lastly, it is a mercury free and consists of a cup that can be applied with one hand for self-testing, a stethoscope that is built in or attached and a valve that inflates and deflates automatically with a data display on an easy to read gauge that will function in any position. Okay? Are we good? Learners, students, are we good? Okay, so since I guess you're done, you can pass now all your papers. And for tomorrow's activity, we would just like to inform you that your assignment for tomorrow is you're going to research what are the tools, equipment, and paraphernalia used in meal preparation. Okay, so again, I would just like to remind, don't forget to do research for your assignment for tomorrow's lesson. Okay? Thank you so much, my dear students. Once again, this is Mr. Ruben D. Parpen Jr., your Tele 8 teacher. God bless and once again, mabuhay sa ating lahat.